I am Sarah Raddy from Free Citizens and I'm here with Osei Wright Alexis and you're watching the Carafin video series update 2013. How are you doing sir? Not bad at all, not bad at all and I mean it's great to be here, great to be in your presence again co-hosting the Carafin video series and of course you know we had a exciting two weeks going there I mean the torch run, the one lap savannah, the Carafin is off, it's, it's, we, we, we're here, we're here and um, you know of course, we have to start with the torch run. The torch run was the first event, the, the, the flagship event. Um, we, you know, we kicked off at the Central Bank. So, of course, the governor was there, Joel Rambaran, and his entire family. Um, and they came out, they were there supporting, and, you know, that was a good energy. He gave a little speech. I did an interview with him, actually. Good guy, and he really, he really supports the Caribbean vibes. He understands the mission, and he supports it, you know. And they changed the route this year. Right. right, they changed the route. The route was... Unlike last year where they went down through Central and ended up, you know, down in the um, Kufa side, this year they went west. So it was a, I think it was an intelligently designed route. I, I, I guess, I guess we give credit to, to Wayne Carrier for the organizing committee because they did a good job selecting the route this year. Um, every, every institution had a good length to run. And of course, the numbers were great. The turnout was great. Um, props to Guardian. They hosted us well at the end. I felt like I was, you know, but carnival time, food, drinks, tassel, music, it was an exciting period. And so I mean it was a good a good vibes. The touch from was solid. Again, props to the Kaifin committee. Fun fitness friendship. That was a good start off this year. And um, of course, well, you know, you weren't there. I don't know. I mean, that's the only downfall for me. I, I you know, I was hoping I would see. I don't know what happened. Is it, what? I know it seemed like they missed out on a lot. Yeah. All that vibes at, at GHL, come on. Vibes. Yeah, boy. Yeah. A vex, a vex, a vex. Next year for sure. Yeah, right. But moving on, the one lap. I know you did amazing. What was your time? 16.33. As compared to last year, where you did 17.22, your position was 12th. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, it was a good performance. It was, as you said, better than last year. Actually, my best performance for the one lap. Um, you know, I think I, I got a little. For example, I wanted to get in the top 10 this year. I was aiming for the top 10. And the guy who came 10th was like one second ahead of me. You know, so it was a little disappointing. But nonetheless, it was a good run. I think the times generally were faster this year. Um, you know, they, you, uh, you found that last year the top 10 were, you know, in the 17-minute range. This year, the top 10 was in 60-minute range. So that, you know, it was definitely a faster race and then the performance level was, 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 was higher, you know. So interesting, interesting race. Good strategy, you know, we, we, we tried something this year and it, it, you know, it worked well. Definitely more challenging this year yeah. in terms of the times with your competition. Yeah, definitely. I was really hoping you would make it in the top, you know. Well, I was hoping you would, I would have seen you, you know, either, you know, right in front or right behind. What was your time though? Tell me, how, how did you... Hello, how my did time you... was 24 minutes and that was exceptional for me. You know, so I, I felt like I won that race. I'm serious. Yeah. So that was um that was an amazing aspect of it. I know Dr. Amory Brown was there and he gave an amazing speech. Yeah, it was yeah. funny, I could not help myself. I was laughing continuously. Paul, just a few years ago when I was a student at Queen's Royal College, I participated in my first course country run. And my dad had some advice for me. He told me the first mile you run with your legs. The second mile, you run with your mind. And the third mile, you run with your heart. So I entered the race, and I did the first mile with my legs. And then I did the second mile with my mind. And then I did the third mile with my heart. And then I realized it was a seven mile race. And then I ran to the nearest phone booth and I told him, Dad, come and pick me up. Let's go home. And each financial institution was cheering on. And that was the competition in itself, you know, because everybody's like, okay, RBC, you hear now, crew going off, free citizens, real noise, you know, so that was... It was funny, like, I remember the um, announcer, she was saying that, um, so for example, Guardian was like right there, I think, and she was like, um, I think I'm seeing, is it 
guardian holding somewhere around and they just started to make noise, you know. So it was really a nice a nice start, just energy pumping, you know, and that got the race off on the right foot. So, you know, it was a good event. But what do you think about the, the turnout though, the, the, the participation, the vibes, the energy otherwise before the race, after the race? Like what what was your you know, take on that, that atmosphere otherwise? Though? Well, there were a lot, a lot of people. I believe, according to Wayne, it was like between five to six hundred persons. So that is a lot. There were both the walkers, the walkers and the runners. So the competition was stiff. Um, it was amazing to see the turnout, though. Uh, we had 800 registered persons. But you know, on the day, some persons come out, some, some persons don't. But to have um, close to 600 persons out on the Savannah, unbelievable. Yeah. That's, that's like traffic jam though. <laughs> traffic jam, of course they had the walkers starting a little after, so you know, it was, it, was, it was spaced out well enough, but it was a good turn out, exciting times run. But Osei, where did RBC get that fast runner? I believe his name is Simon Kaletsta and I hope I pronounced that properly. He was a beast! 13.19? Yeah, yeah, he's amazing. He is, um, I think he's here from Canada. Yes. He's been working on a project with us at RBC for about a year now. And I mean, you know, he, I don't know if maybe he jumped in a taxi along the way or he, <laughs> he, he found a vine to swing onto the finish line, but he was excellent. I mean, 13, I, I, I don't know, I, I felt like I was ready to die after that race and I was in the 16s. So right. what, you know, but he's good. He's good. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, you can only admire that kind of talent though. So most definitely we also had in second place richard avery of ghl with 14.19 in third place in the men was john donaldson from first citizens in 15.05 sorry you know i have, you know you know i have to do that yeah, i mean only because it's john donaldson though he is a he's a g though. he's a g and i mean you know he just happened to be in first citizens so i mean you know you have to give them the props and whatnot but he is good though, so kudos to you definitely he's also a former cross-country champion and his last his time last year was actually better than this time but his event is the green mile so he's definitely someone to look out for in the green mile i can't wait to see how he does next week wednesday most definitely yeah. well, now know. let's talk about the woman well i mean i um the woman the woman again i i think you see this wendy girl wendy wc I mean, she passed me in the race, huh? mm -hmm. and I mean, I was able to, to catch her back at the end. But she, she's good. She's good. Uh, she did, she did the, the, the um, race in 17 minutes and two seconds, mm -hmm. which is a minute and 16 seconds faster than her last year time, yes. which was 18:18. So imagine dropping a minute and 16 seconds off this lap here. That means you're training. That means you're dedicated. She's good, and I'm. And, you know, kudos to Wendy. Great job again. I mean, let, let's hope you. You know, I, I know the, the Green Mile again is a strong event for Wendy. So. You know, definitely things to look out for when it comes to when the, uh, you know. Yo, I wish, seriously, that I could run like that, that I can make that time. But you know what? Cariff in 2014, Wendy, you better watch out, huh? No, oh. don't let me say that. Next thing you see, she can yeah, I mean, <laughs> you say 2014, you should say probably 2020 or 2025. <laughs> you know, maybe you could... Uh, you have no faith in no, me? No, I just, you know. No faith? It's jokes, it's jokes, it's jokes. Oh, <laughs> say right, Alexis. So, yeah, and you know, in second place, so it's Esla Anthony. Another stalwart, uh, stalwart in the carry thing. She is also good. She's, you know, a fit individual. She is in all the different events. I think um, this year uh, she did. This year she did 17:48, which is excellent. And I think that um, I, I believe I heard she's training for the fusion. The fusion is our next kind of cross fitness type of event that's coming up in June. And the training you need for that is intense. So who knows what's going to happen next week, you know. She's going to perform even better next week, I can guarantee that. So, you know, Esla, great job again. And in third place, we had a new runner from Scotia Bank. Her name is Inge. Her name is Laverne Evelyn, right? She, I saw her actually finish and she was, she finished strong. Mm -hmm. A new face and she did 18-12. And I think, you know, someone to watch again for the, for the events, you know, she looked like she ready for them. She looked like, you know, you see the fitness in her too. So, I mean, the ladies did well this year. The, the range was, was high. I know this um, Angel Barkley of RBL, who's a long-standing carry for, carry for night. Yes. She faced with 19.04. Again, good times, good times, you know. So definitely, I mean, you know, you have, you will cut out though. You, you forgot a name. You forgot a name. He's not seen my name there? Oh, yeah. 2020. Um, 
Okay, so let's move on to the walkers. We have Deodat Harry Kasun of First Citizens doing a double. He took it last. <laughs> <laughs> he took it last year and he took it this year again in a time of 24.15. Yes, that, that is one? three minutes <laughs> less <laughs> than his time last year of 27.21. But yes, so just imagine I ran, I did 24 minutes. He walked and he did 24 minutes. Now I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to take that too. I mean, you know, you know, uh, you know um, yeah, I don't know how to take either, but I can't, I can't even I can't even back up on that one. But, but you know, 24 minutes is a, a solid time for the walk though. Um, and you run, you know, if you, if you, uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't help, I can't help. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's not even try to justify that, right? But second place was Central Bank Brian Mitchell, a first time walker doing 25.39. Can you imagine walking that fast though? Like for real, like, I don't know. It, it, I mean, you, you see them doing that kind of walk and wine kind of looking <laughs> thing, but I mean, that's that's amazing though, 25 minutes walking around the savannah. Yes. I know some guns who, you know, run like, like guys who run and they can't even make 24, 25 minutes. So that's excellent though. Good job, good job, guys. And I mean, there's this guy, Terrence Swirl. He is from RBL. He came in third with 25 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, Again, 25 minutes, you're looking at these times are excellent. And there's Clem Gibrassing of RBC. He is a veteran in business and he came in fourth with 25 minutes and 44 seconds. So solid walking times for the guys. So on to the female walkers. We have Cheryl Cadogan, who plays first in a time of 26.36. And I know he's been itching to tell us where she's from. So go ahead. RBC, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you, you, you yeah. get your time to shine yeah. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, That's yeah. fine. That's fine. <laughs> Second was Central Bank Onella Knights with 28.44. We have Claudette Durham of Scotia Bank with 29.24. So great times for the women. Can I just say, Sherilyn, apart from that excellent time and coming first, she also came fifth overall so she is you know she's a, a champion a true champion from from the bank of champions just like you know okay <laughs> so yeah. he just rubbing everything in right now but that's <laughs> fine it has been an amazing a great video series caravan update so much information to take in so next week wednesday next week wednesday next week wednesday is the notorious Green Mile. I mean, you know, that's a different kind of race. This is a power race. This is a, a race of strength. And I think we may be surprised when we see some of the names in the top five, top ten, maybe looking a little different from the one lap because, you know, it's a different energy that you're looking at there. But um, definitely a great race to look out, look out for. And again, well, the Chancer Challenge is not the week after, but you skip a week and then it's the, week, the following week, right? And of course, Chancer is another, another, another big event. So, so have a little more time to train. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know, I think as you as you saw for yourself with your time, and the time compared to the time of the first place female to the you know third place female, you don't have much work to do. Once you need to just get in there, go hard. And I think you can make at least a top ten, you know, top fifteen. What do you think, <laughs> uh, guys? Top fifteen? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have you have you you will cut out for you. Yeah. So. so good stuff. I mean, again, it was a pleasure being here, presenting with you, presenting to the Carifin community. And, you know, this is the second installment of our video series. Look out for great things ahead. And, you know, what do you think? Most definitely. Always keep it locked. We will be bringing you all the updates definitely. and what is next in Carifin. So thank you for keeping it locked. This is, o this is Osei and I'm Sarah. Thank you.